Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got, again, a very soggy start to the morning and more than likely not going to be seeing too much in the way of relief from the rainfall over the course of the next several days. We have a flood watch in effect for most of the Mid-South, including most of the area across West Tennessee, East Arkansas, Almost all the counties in North Mississippi, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Either way, if you're going to be doing anything today, tonight, tomorrow, traveling any place, you're going to have to allow for a lot of extra time and a lot of extra space between you and the vehicle in front of you. It's sloppy out there. There are tons of accidents already this morning. Corey Ventura is tabulating that. She'll have updates coming up at 725 and, of course, throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3, so stick around for a lot more on that. Rest of the day, again, wish we could give you some sunny weather, but it's not going to be happening anytime soon as we have tons of moisture lined up and ready to go. Drop your locations into the comments section of of course, we've got rainfall out there. If you want to report that, that's great. But if you have a rain gauge amount, that would be really cool to give us an idea as to how much rain we've seen in your area. So drop those into the area. Give us a good estimate there. Or if you have one of those weather stations out back, just give us a report or drop a picture into the comments and love to be able to see more about that out there. Let's go ahead and get started with the forecast, which again is in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or right here, which again pretty much amounts to the same thing with temperatures again back in the mid to upper 50s kind of fluctuating temperatures throughout the rest of the morning going upwards maybe a degree or two but mainly staying in the mid to upper 50s and that's going to be about it the winds are going to be pretty breezy today northeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour so expecting a little bit of chop on the roadways definitely want to keep a firm hand on the steering wheel and definitely want to pay attention to what's going on down the line from you to avoid long, boring conversations with your insurance agent just to be on the safe side there so again for the rest of the day add a little bit of extra commute time to how long it takes you to get there. Again, if it takes about a half an hour to get to where you're going, give yourself 45 minutes. It's going to be maybe an aggravation, but you will get there a little bit safer, and that's the important thing for right now. Gray skies, rain on the camera lens, central Memphis from the Weather Underground camera at Rhodes College, showing a lot of problems there. Rain just beginning to speckle the camera lens at Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, and a lot of cloud cover in and around north Mississippi, but not much rainfall here yet. Looking back toward Poplar Pike and Germantown, camera lens is kind of obscured by some more rainfall and traffic as Germantown High School gets underway, looking a little bit soggy and some traffic backed up there. About an inch of rainfall so far, rain continues, winds out of the north at about 12 miles per hour out across much of the Mid-South. Airport delays out there, you can just barely see the control tower and the terminal, light rain being reported. No delays this morning at Memphis International Airport, so definitely good news on that. Some delays possible throughout the rest of the forecast as we get this rain and moisture moving up to the northeast. So we could see more delays where it comes to air travel. But so far this morning, really good news at major and connecting airports across the United States. We're not getting much of anything in the way of problems. So good news there. More on your computer system. Go to this website, fly.faa.gov. Great way to find out more about how things are going before you hit the airport just to be on the safe side. And of course, the view from in and around the area. Well, our transmitter tower camera should be looking at right there. Downtown Memphis, I-40 across the river and the Mississippi River with Mud Island here. Camera getting speckled by rainfall. Some very heavy rain in downtown Memphis overnight, over an inch, I would guess, at this point in time. But we'll see what the WeatherNet sites held on here in just a little bit at this time. Traffic around I-40 or I-240 and Poplar Avenue moving along, but you can see again the headlights reflected off the roadway surface and a lot of spray being kicked up by the vehicles, which is a good sign that there's decent amounts of moisture on there. Now, the faster you go, the more water gets between your tire and the roadway surface. That's like skating on ice. It's called hydroplaning. If you get too much water underneath there, your car is no longer in contact with the road surface. It's in contact with just the water, and that can cause you to skid out of control. So under the speed limit and paying very close attention to what's going on in and around you could save you a lot of problems for later on. Here's Storm Tracker 3S radar. Again, a lot of what we're looking at is going to be replaced by even more rainfall coming up from the south and west. And we've got tons of rainfall on the way at this point in time. We do not have anything to show you in the way of major amounts or anything to report in the way of severe weather at this time. But what we do have is called an atmospheric river. Got a channel of moisture 
going through the rest of the atmosphere, heading up from the Gulf of Mexico and making its way into the Mid-South. So what you see right here in the Mid-South is just basically the leading edge of the rainfall. Tons more on the way from the Southwest, and that's why we are looking for the potential of flooding in the Mid-South area. Now, for this morning, if you're just tuning in, Savannah, Corinth, Oxford, back toward Tupelo, Holly Springs. You may not be getting too much rainfall yet. It's not in any hurry to go anyplace. It's been taking several hours just to move this far, but it is going to be making its way across the Mid-South and into North Mississippi. So far, again, we do not have anything going on in the way of anything involving severe weather at this time, but we do have more than a few lightning strikes popping up around Tunica, Clarksdale, northwest Mississippi, southeast Arkansas for the most part. There were a few lightning strikes earlier around the loop and into parts of southeast Shelby County, but once again, we're just not seeing anything in the way of severe weather. The atmosphere is unstable enough to create showers and thunderstorms. It's just not incredibly unstable to create big uplifts of energy to create those thunderstorms that we could see at this time of the year, but we're not getting anything like that at this point in time. So good news from what we can see for that, at least right now. Unfortunately, chances of rainfall will be continuing. So the National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a flood watch for the entire area. Not a flash flood watch, just a flood watch for, again, the possibility of rainfall filling up those ditches and drainage creek areas that could back up with the debris and that could cause water to rush over the roadway surface. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Driving through water covered roadways could be the last mistake you ever make. Not a good way to go out and again this is something to avoid at all costs. If you can find another way to get to where you're going, you may be late, it may be an inconvenience, but you will arrive alive. That's one of the things to remember about weather like this. Now most of the Mid-South is covered by this. Oxford, Lafayette County, not under the flood watch at this time, but if I lived in and around this area, I would still be very cautious with both wet roadways and the potential of maybe some flooding going on, even if it's not directly in your area, we could still see some residual flooding taking place. So basically everybody in the Mid-South, including the Metro, is under this flood watch until Sunday morning at about 9 o'clock. That's how long this rainfall is going to be sticking around and giving us more chances of flooding over the next several days. How much are we looking for? We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Currently on WeatherNet 3, nearly an inch and a half in just the last couple of hours in the Boot Heel of Missouri over an inch at Cross County High School in Cherry Valley, Arkansas, and approaching an inch in many parts of Arkansas so far, and expecting more chances of rainfall throughout the rest of the day. So these numbers will be ascending as we head into the afternoon and into this evening. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in from this morning. Thanks for the weather reports and the location reports. Glad to have everybody along for the ride so far to get you off for a good start. Now, running the numbers into the rest of the day, Winds out of the north-northeast. The computer is a little bit more eager to cool things off, so it's dropping numbers by this afternoon into the lower 40s. I'm thinking it's not going to be quite that cold. It's going to be more very mild for better part of the day as this colder air slowly makes its way into the area. We'll be seeing the temperatures knock off a little bit by this afternoon and into this evening, but it doesn't look like it's going to be like an Arctic blast or anything like this. So I think the numbers here are just a bit over eager. I'm going to say mid to upper 50s for later on today. We'll talk about that in the forecast in just a little bit. Now through this afternoon, unfortunately, right about rush hour, we see that potential of some showers and thunderstorms developing. And again, that could be a problem right on in through dinner time tonight. Heavy rain, low visibility, maybe some thunderstorms out there. Once again, does not look to be anything in the way of severe weather coming up, but it does look to be wet all the way through the night tonight and straight on into, unfortunately, right into around daybreak. So this is where we could see again more of the problems with wet conditions out there. Unfortunately, it's a good possibility Corey Ventura is going to have a lot to talk about as we go into tomorrow morning as well. How much are we expecting out of this next round of rainfall through the next 48 hours? Again, what we're seeing, the heaviest amount of rainfall looks to be kind of shifting a little bit. This is a brand new forecast here, only a couple of hours old, and it looks like the heaviest rainfall is now going through northwest Tennessee, through east central and central Arkansas in those orange shaded categories that you see right 
right there. Five inches plus, maybe even half a foot of rain into parts of central Arkansas in localized areas. That's going to cause, again, some major problems into the area. Kirk Downing, 1.8 inches since midnight in Gosnell, Arkansas. Thank you very much for that report out there. 76 degrees in Navarre Beach. Thank you, Amy Pruitt, for checking in with sunny skies, a far cry from what we're seeing for right now. And Donna Kelsey Faulkner, weather report of pouring rainfall at 7.08 a.m. from The Ville. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Been raining steadily since 10 p.m. last night. Drives are flooded, 39 degrees. Rebecca A. Bagwell, thank you very much uh, for that report for this morning. Thanks to everybody for checking on through. So this is just, again, a one forecast estimate of what we may be looking at in about the next about 48 hours or so. Definitely going to fluctuate. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. All right, running the numbers through today, good chance of showers and thunderstorms for everybody today. Temperatures back around 60 degrees and then slowly dropping off. Should be in the mid to upper 40s as we get into later on tonight. Lower 60s tomorrow with chances of showers and thunderstorms possible. 70s again by Friday. Showers and thunderstorms here, but once again, checking the Storm Prediction Center's forecast, we do not see anything going on in the way of severe weather. Thunderstorms, yes, possible on that, but so far we're not getting any indication of any severe weather taking place. Chances of rain continue right up until Sunday. We have the thunderstorm marker here for Sunday, but I think most of this is going to be in the morning hours, clearing out by afternoon, so we get a chance to dry out by just a little bit. Hopefully some sunshine finishing up Sunday. Monday and Tuesday look pretty dry, and as you might expect, there's got to be some more rainfall out there someplace, so lower 30% range for next Wednesday and Thursday. Doesn't look like much at this time. It's still pretty far out, but once again, at this time of the year, we have to be very careful and watch for any signs of severe weather. Either way, over the next several days, we've got a lot of rainfall coming on through, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on what we may be seeing out there. Get yourself updated on what's going on with severe weather. The more spotters we have trained out there to look for severe weather and and to call that information in to the National Weather Service, the better protected we are all going to be. So if you'd like to become a storm spotter, a volunteer Skywarn spotter, we'd love to have you as a volunteer. Your information called into the National Weather Service can help people like me tell everybody else what's going on out there. And the more people we have looking at what goes on, the better off we can get more information back to the rest of the viewing public. So your information as a spotter could help save lives somewhere down the line. These are the next four meetings. The next one coming up tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. in Lexington, Tennessee. Monday next in Helena, West Helena, Arkansas at the Bonner Student Center, Phillips Community College. Tuesday the 27th in Camden, Tennessee at the Central High School Library. And Thursday, March 1st, Cross County High School. This one had to be rescheduled from earlier this week. So again, if you'd like to attend this one in Wynn, Arkansas for Cross County, it'll be Thursday, March 1st. Where's the one for Shelby County in Memphis? Not on this map yet, but we will be bringing that to you over the next several days, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Catch up with my forecast available with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. That's going to be on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. And if you'd like to follow them on Twitter, at Talkback Live, or listen to them on the Internet if you can't get their signal in the Mid-South, TalkbackLiveNetwork.org, and you can catch up with sports chat and all kinds of great information there. We'll have another weather overtime coming up a little bit later on this morning. We'll also have updates at 725 755, 825, 855, and right on in through News Channel 3 live at 9 later on this morning. Also, don't forget you can get our complete forecast here at wreg.com slash weather, including our 7 to 10 day forecast. Questions, anything you'd like to know about this netcast that we do, or anything else that we could feature here to keep you coming back, all you have to do is email me again in the blue bar right there, austin.onic at wreg.com. More updates at 725, live on air with News Channel 3, and at 755 and throughout the rest of the morning. So stay tuned for more on the flooding situation and more details on the forecast into the rest of the weekend through News Channel 3 at noon. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete weather update on this morning's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day for updates.